Anyway, it's time to start doing our blogs, our video bl blog. What is it? Blog? I have no idea. But anyway, we we'll start. Time to start uh, talking about our van journey. We took off in March. Bought this in January. Flew to North Carolina. Picked it up. A Sprinter van, 2018 Road Trek CS. Shorter, not the XL. And uh, drove it across the U.S. just to get it home in the middle of the winter. Perfect trip, no problems. Anyway, we got it back, got it home, started to outfit it with plans to take off in March. And uh, first thing was the stereo. Uh, we got a thousand dollar factory rebate from Mercedes, so that went toward the stereo plus another thousand. And we got the top end, top of the line Pioneer a player, <clears throat> and um, things I like about it. You can put an SD card in it with. I have 8,000 songs on there, so we, no matter what, you always have your music with you without an internet or cell connection. Um, front pops off. Great sound. Great player. Plays FLAC files, or RAW files, which are um, much more high resolution than the, uh, if you could use the word resolution with audio, but I guess you can. But anyway, it's a great player. Upgrade your sound system immediately. Uh, pro tip here is on the speaker covers. We put the stock ones back. Anybody looks in, it's really it looks absolutely stock, and the stock speakers worth about five bucks a piece. And then this faceplate removed so that you can't tell what you got going on there. And then we uh, a little dash came here. We installed later. And uh, what other mods have we done? Uh, we had to change the regulator because we are in Colorado and they're over 3,000 feet. Uh, the regulators used to run the boiler, the in-floor heat, uh, makes a horrific noise. And so after much research, we solved that problem. Road truck didn't have an answer. We had to solve it ourselves and put a lower pressure regulator in. Done. Worked perfectly. Um, what else? We removed the third seat uh, in the van. This is where it would be great to articulate, but uh, we're not going to do that right now. But anyway, it's just a short video to see whether this GoPro camera would work for blogging and talking about things. Uh, we've been out for 10,000 miles now, so we've got it kind of dialed in. I want to do a walkthrough and uh, show you the van because I think it's there's a place for everything and everything is in its place. And that just makes living in a tiny little B van uh, doable long term with a couple. So anyway, that's my test and I hope it worked because that's pretty convenient. Oh, uh, this is our cell booster like my install straight up through over behind the microwave into the technology cabinet uh, anyway okay testing one two three i hope that worked okay here we go this is the walkthrough uh, 2016 road track and uh, we've been on the road for 10,000 miles in it about 70 nights or so. I think it's about time we uh, walk through and see how well we've got everything setting after all of our experience on the road. Learn a couple things, I think, maybe. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to turn it around now. Road Track's awesome uh, screen here. I, I was skeptical that it works like the bomb, so very good Road Track. You want something to get the dirt off as you come in, maybe a secondary, how about a tertiary way to get the dirt off. So like I say, we've been out for 10,000 miles and this is the scoop. This is the unit. So, um, we'll start up front here. We, all we've done up here is uh, install a decent stereo, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, put a USB port on the top up there so the passenger can uh, charge your phone without a bunch of cables running around and down on the cigarette ladder we uh, we run that up to our uh, dash cam so we mounted a dash cam don't use it that much um, the windshield gets dirty too quickly but anyway we'll talk about that on another episode but uh, this is our cell booster mounted upside down but it can work as long as it's in the vertical plane uh, back behind the seat here is the uh, subwoofer power amp make it we had to slide the table up but it works great we had to add some additional tricks and then one little hack here is we had some gaffers tape and we have to tape this little switch because 
going through the Mojave, we knocked it off a few times. So these are the lithium batteries, little light pack here, no lights in the van at night. You leave them like that. But since I'm parked, uh, I can't like to see them. But anyway, no lights in the van. Up here, we store uh, the owner's manual, my overnight kit, some hats, and uh, my partner Renee's purse. So that's always that. There's not much there. That keeps it nice and simple there. We rarely, if ever, used a microwave. We used to store toilet paper in there. Road track, great big freezer, great big refrigerator. That's one of the reasons we got it. It's electric, high efficiency. It is not propane or it's uh, either 12 volt or 110. It switches automatically. We removed the captain's seat, put in a half pantry. Best decision we ever made. We're wondering about that, but right there we got some laptops in here and tablets, uh, charging station, drone batteries, cell phones, DSLR, all the different charging docking goes on in there. Here's our video, our big video camera, and uh, a Mavic drone there. Our, our shoes, we like to store them down there out of the way and they're dirty, but they stay down there. So that's our charging station. Bring over here, we have the galley, uh, typical galley there. This is cool with the uh, Insta Hot, hot and cold. You turn it on, it runs for 15 minutes and then turns itself off. But after about five, you have boiling hot water, to, good enough to make coffee or tea right there. This is Renee's hat with all the pins to the national parks we've been to. I hope that it's coming out, sort of. Um, Got to get to know this section, guys. Inverter on if you don't have that on when your landlines plugged in you don't get anything to the batteries So that usually just stays on all the time. We turn it off at night sometimes patio light water pump Battery disconnect voltage of your batteries how much propane fresh gray and black straight up anybody that's been researching RVs knows all this um, This is uh, Kind of technology center here this is a DC charge controller for the solar panels. That's factory. And then this is our little router, our Wi-Fi cellular signal device here. I'm not sure what Verizon calls that. What do they call it? Anyway, I'm sure, once again, everybody knows what the hell that is. That's your cell. For the devices that you don't have a, a SIM card in, that'll get you a cell signal. Our Bluetooth speaker, we take out picnic tables, charging station for both phones. Uh, this is to be installed this goes into going to the roof and that hasn't been installed yet this last project it's a cell booster that takes it forward to that front internal antenna and this uh, will go up to the roof but right now i haven't pierced the roof and i'm got a factory guy that's going to do that for me so anyway technology center oh, under the sink who cares but you want to kind of keep everything straight up Bottles of water down here. We just never travel with less than four, even though we have uh, 20 gallons of fresh on board. We take four with us there. Vacuum cleaners and dish stuff. And GoPro mount. Get out of the way. Uh, this drawer, everybody's got to have one. That's uh, your utensils and miscellaneous stuff you can't find in the middle of the night. You want to put it there. So, uh, readers, you know, Benadryl, got to find that sometimes. Anyway, that's just a handy kind of a catch-all drawer. This is everything we cook with. That and uh, this is everything we cook with. So that's all the bowls and cups and dishes you need. This is for foodstuffs. And after the first month out, I move my clothes up here. That's all the clothes I take with me. And we move those up there, had them in the back there. But I get tired of crawling over the bed for it, so I put it there. Okay, this is like the bathroom zone, so you can have your overnight kits in there. This is a pantry, food storage, coffee, grains, nuts, red licorice. Don't ever travel without red licorice. So, and uh, nuts and grains. There. This box down here is just uh, full of uh, tripods and out outdoor camping cameras cameras outdoor camping chairs folding chairs in there tripod in there i think a couple pair of hiking boots okay this is the road trek bathroom little safety latch here pull that out you've got your bathroom here so 
not real big, but it serves the purpose well. And uh, what can I say? It works. The other thing I like about it is in the winter, when you're winter camping, there's in-floor heat in this rig, but this is a radiator, so this little room stays toasty warm in the winter, and that's a big plus. It doesn't sound like it should be, but, it, but I think it is. Okay. Sorry, heat food. Uh, never use this. Air conditioner, never use it. It's loud, noisy. Why would you use it? We just move the van to someplace cooler. <laughs> Seriously, that's what you have wheels for. This is the uh, hanging clothes stuff, jackets. Uh, we usually have like one pair of clothes that if we got to a town, we wanted to go out to dinner, we don't look like total scumbags, we can change into it. And so uh, DVD, uh, television is connected to that. We can hook our laptop to this, of course, with our, our cable. And this is a miscellaneous cabinet. Back there is just the big camera bags and the drones. Over here will be uh, Renee's clothing we've unpacked. Just got back from a weekend over to Black Canyon. More clothes go here. Back here, we uh, made the big decision after a month out is we're not gonna entertain guests or we don't need uh, a bench style seat uh, table in the middle with seats all around. So we, I said, I'd much rather have a four inch thermo rest. So we have a king size thermo rest here. Best night's sleep you'll ever get right here. I love that. Um, we did add a little external LED light over there because the overhead lights in here I think are a bit harsh. Let me demonstrate. Harsh, right? But anyway, don't need to light at night back here much. Um, guitar hanging. Hang the guitar here. A couple little... This is our fantastic fan. This is our in-floor heat. Gosh, I hope you can see that. I'm, this is probably the worst video you'll ever see because I can't see what the camera's doing, so. Oh well, that's a great excuse. And I'm gonna keep it. So that's the van. Uh, not, no clutter. Um, part of our aesthetic is the feng shui of nice clean lines. And, and when you go out for months at a time, we're just getting ready to take off on four months trip up to Canada and the West Coast, East Coast colors. So, you know, we, we've got it dialed in. There's there's a spot for everything, you know. You don't need um, much. That's the whole point of getting out on the road in a van is to prove how, how little stuff you really need. What did I do over here? Because the evolution of your little side pocket is seems kind of like an intense thing, but ends up being reading glasses, reading glasses, sunglasses, sunglasses, driving glasses, etc. My hanging driving glass holder here, I think rocks. I usually have my cell phone mounted here keep my wallet right there probably should put it in a glove box but anyway um right here mounted a little hook here this is the hat always goes here usually a jacket usually we'll have a, a jacket hanging here too and then renee's jacket and hat will hang here so this is the table it comes off the wall screws in right down here on the floor and then these two chairs rotate and we have our dinners here or in our laps or usually sitting outside to be honest usually sitting outside so that's the van let me know what questions you have about it i'll tell you one thing i will mention we had a b plus leisure van it was a great van mercedes chassis but it didn't have these rear opening doors and i'm like so what big deal i don't well i'm not even going to put a bike in here why would i need the big doors it's ventilation folks that's the number one selling point open that up wind blows through this van is cool it's cool as the air that's blowing through it at least so what more could you want it's not a big hot box anymore and so i'm gonna take you around back show you a, a little bit about the back here so i'll do this like that Oop. so you open that up like that the wind blows through here and i'm telling you what man comfy beautiful and if it's not like i say drive north or south to get cooler um, Forest thermo rest. Uh, back here is our storage. This is the oh, sum total. This little mat we put out if we want to be all uptown right outside our oh, under the awning. We'll put that down sometimes if we want to be super tidy. Leveling blocks. Got 10 of those stacked back in there. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, then storage is all we have. This is uh, what is in there? Tell me. That's hoses and washing stuff for water. 
washing, filling up with water. This is where, this is the toolbox and where the uh, landline power cable goes. And in here are simply hiking boots. Um, that's it. That's this van. 2016 Mercedes Sprinter with a 2017 Road Trek CS body. Okay, that concludes our walk around. Uh, let's see. Maybe just one quick summary. Since I broke it into two parts by running out of batteries, it'll be have some continuity issues. And so, so there's the unit, front to rear. Um, love the king size bed. Love the Mercedes chassis. Runs like a champ. Love the four wheel drive. Pioneer stereo system and components, high end. Replaced all the tweeters up here. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. So, anyway, it's a good rig. Go get you one. Let me know if you have any questions or questions I can answer. We're taking off in August for four months, so that'll be some fun. Take care. Bye bye. big part of our aesthetic, I guess you call it, is uh, clean lines. Keep the feng shui flowing, keep the energy flowing. I don't even know what that means, but that's what we try to do. No clutter, no muss, no fuss. Place for everything and everything in a place. Works out great. So that concludes our van, van interior review. Um, let me know if you have any questions. It's a great rig, four-wheel drive, road track, CS Adventurous, tons of lithium, big 400 watts of solar on top. Uh, we boondock. We never stay at a campground. Don't want campgrounds. Nothing against anybody that likes to stay there, but that's the whole point here, guys. Boondock, solar energy, under the hood generator. When you arrive someplace in this rig, the batteries are charged. Both these giant lithium batteries are charged. Your house battery, your coach battery, everything's charged. You don't have to ever start a generator. And then the solar panels trickle charge the rest of the time. And you get to live like this. There's uh, computers, laptops, tele television, you name it. Insta hot, my God. Okay, so it's the way to do it. External generators are a thing of the past. Okay, maybe I'll do a quick little walk around. Just a quick walk around of the van. Four wheel drive, added ground clearance. It helps in the sand a lot too. Works really good. Let's go around the back and uh, 